the club are normally fighting to keep their players, but a bloated squad needs a Christmas trimming if new boss Ralph Hasenhut was going to be allowed to bring in his own players to fit his counter-pressing style. Overspending in recent windows means the Austrian will be hamstring unless he is able to get some fringe payers off the books. Former boss Mark Hughes splashed out around pound 16 million to sign attacker Mohamed Elianusi from Basel in the summer, and the Norwegian looks to be the most likely candidate to be first on Hessen Hittel's chopping block. However, with Elianusi woefully out form and out of favor with the new boss, clubs are hardly queuing up to take him on a permanent basis. Predict 5 results and win £25,000 free to play here at Temporaries which looks more likely, and he would add to the ever-growing lost of Saints flops currently out on loan around Europe. Remember Sofiane Bluffel? Guido Carrillo anyone? How about Jardy Clays? Incredibly, all three big money signings are still technically Saints players and Hassan Hittel faces the prospect of being lumbered with them when their loan deals expire at the end of the season. There was evidence to suggest the new boss will put an emphasis on hard work and pressing in the recent 3-2 victory over Arsenal, and it remains to be seen whether the current crop can adapt. Hassan Hitler appears to like his players to cross early, and he has at least three full backs in Ryan Bertrand, Cedric Saris and Matt Target who have proved they are excellent deliverers of the ball from wide positions. The real problem looks to be further forward. Manolo Gabayadini is not the sort of player you want in a relegation fight, and if as he often does Danny Ings gets injured they are short of goals up front. Here, Express Sport takes a look at how the winter window could go for Saints. What do Southampton need in January? A striker has to be a priority. In truth, Saints have never really replaced Graziano Pell since the target man left for a money-spinning move to China in 2016. That being said, Ings has proved himself to be a proven Premier League goalscorer, but he cannot be relied upon to stay fit for the rest of the season. Hassan Hittel could look to Germany and he should look no further than Jean Kevin Augustin from former club RB Leipzig. Signing the 21 year old would be a huge coup, although they might face competition from Everton, who have been linked with a swoop for the Frenchman. He started the season in scintillating form scoring in all of his first three appearances, but has found starts hard to come by recently and is now behind Time O. Werner and Yusef Polson in the pecking order. Augustin would probably cost at least £30 million which means Saints would have to break their transfer record to sign him. Saints also need a playmaker having as they have visibly missed Dustin Tadic, who is having a superb season with Ajax. Ruben Loftus-Cheek would be the ideal candidate as his high energy suits his Senhitl style, and his eye for goal could help with Saints' problems with finding the net. They might be able to get him on loan as he is frustrated with a lack of opportunities under Maurizio Sarri at Chelsea.
However, if he does become available, interest in the England international will be high. Crystal Palace had him on loan last season and are known to be keen on bringing him back to help with their own relegation battle. Who do Southampton need to get rid of in January? As mentioned, Elianusi appears to be surplus to requirements and he does not look suited to the Premier League football. Manolo Gabayadini is also taking up squad space unnecessarily, although if reports are to be believed he is not short of admirers. Spartak Moscow are said to be weighing you a move for the Italian but will not pay anywhere near the £16 million it cost to sign him from Sampdoria in January 2017. Elsewhere, Stephen Davis is unsettled and he should be let go before his contract expires at the end of the season. Davis is understood to be keen on going back to Rangers and the club should thank him for his excellent service by letting him leave to get the first team football he craves. Frazier Forster also needs stop be let go following his stunning fall from grace. First choice for three years, the former England international is now behind number one Alex McCarthy and youngster Angus Gunn in the pecking order. What will Southampton try and do in January, they will be actively looking to strengthen if they can get a few off the wage bill and expect Hassan Hittel to look to the Bundesliga for new faces. While Leipzig's Augustin would be the perfect choice for a new striker, they will probably go for Davy Selke, 23, of Hertha Berlin as he would prove to be a cheaper and more realistic option. They will also try and keep Mario Lamina from the clutches of Paris Saint-Germain who have been heavily linked with him in their search for a new midfielder. What Southampton will actually get in January expect Saints to sign a striker to challengings and Charlie Austin and Selkie seems to be a realistic target. Another attacker who has been linked is Pascal Gross who appears to be Hessen Hittel's preferred option. While he says he is happy at Brighton, the German worked under him at Ingolstadt and he might fancy a reunion after struggling to replicate his fine form of last season. Meanwhile, Saints will almost certainly be powerless to prevent Lamina from joining PSG if they from typo their interest with a concrete offer. Forster and Davis will probably leave as well, 